Oh no! Oh no! Okay, guys. Day. Hi, friends. Welcome back. Today we are watching Better Call Saul, season four, episode two. This one is called Breathe. Okay, if you haven't watched last episode with me, click up here and watch that one. Um, <laughs> crazy, amazing, sad to me episode. Um, I was not expecting what happened, so I would recommend you watch that one first if you haven't, and then come back, <laughs> come back and watch this one with me, friends. Yeah, I'm super excited to uh, get back into Better Call Saul. I can't believe how uh, the last episode ended. I'm still like, when I think about it, I'm like, I, I, I can't believe it. I cannot believe it. Um, so anyway, I don't want to wait. Uh, I kind of just want to get into it. And um, yeah, so if you're new here, hi, welcome. Thanks for coming. Please come into my living room, hang out. We, um, we have fun, we watch amazing shows and movies. We get our drinks. I got my coffee right here. I also got my water. You get your drinks, tea, whatever y'all want. Snacks, if you guys want snacks. And yeah, let's watch this. Let's watch this episode of Better Call Saul. I'm so excited. <laughs> and by the way, if you like watching stuff with me or if you just enjoy my content, please please do me a favor and subscribe to my channel i am on the road i'm on the road to a thousand followers and uh or subscribers followers whatever same thing i guess <laughs> and um yeah i i could really use your help so if you are not subscribed please subscribe below continue on this journey with me we also have new shows coming black sales is coming soon and always new movies are coming out so yeah let's do this all right Cheers. Okay, hospital machines. You know, my first thought was just, wait, is he not dead? But like, dude, he's dead. They had a funeral. So, I don't know, wishful thinking maybe? Oh, that's, um, that's Hector. That's right, he had his, uh, his stroke or whatever. I really, really, really hope they don't find out it was Nacho. I'm like, I'm terrified they're going to find out it was Nacho. <laughs> He's no longer in a coma. <laughs> that Gus being a creeper out there? Or whether he will wake up and understand what's going on around him. Mm -hmm. There's no way of knowing. That's unacceptable. Gustavo, he's getting very good care here. There's very little even the best hospitals could do. In the end, I can think of no better judgment on this man. <laughs> I decide what he deserves. No one else. Uh-oh. Well, that answers my question. About if uh, he found out it was Nacho. If he would be happy or not. So I'm going to say no. Gus will not be happy. Based off that conversation they just had. That would suck, sleeping like this. Ugh. I have never broken a bone surprisingly in my life you've been through other stuff obviously but like never broken a bone let me know if you guys have jimmy you know you can take some yeah, time yeah i was gonna off. say he seems um nobody's gonna ding you for not having a steady he job seems right pretty okay for chuck just passing at least on the outside i don't know if he's just like rolling with what chuck told him like the last time they talked when he was like why have regrets we we know how you are, you know, kind of thing. If he's just like rolling with it because he finally accepted, like, okay, this is me, I guess. Or if uh, he's just numbing the pain, basically, you know. 
until it's just gonna like burst open and he's gonna feel everything. Is that Nacho's dad? Yeah, okay. So is Saiju. They didn't end in uh, good terms either. Papa. Todo terminó. Esto para ti. Aww. Ando Are you? You gonna get out of that lifestyle finally? Maybe that's why he's not in Breaking Bad. Because he's out. I hope that's what it is and not, you know, anything, anything nefarious. He had a printer company interviewing for a printer company. They started this company almost 50 years ago. <laughs> oh, look at that. Yeah. You know your stuff? Oh, I worked in a mail room, so I that talked to a true. lot of repairmen. A lot. He did. <laughs> that machine was almost too good. Counterfeiters used it to make phony $5 bills. Wow. What? Yeah. That's... <laughs> did you just give Jimmy an idea? Hummels. Yes. Those were Alma's. She loved collecting the little things. Touring the wall of crap, I see. I need to drag that stuff to the dumpster. Just haven't had a chance to motivate myself. Oh, you think you have the chops? It's a lot harder than it sounds. Oh, I'd sure love a crack at it. it says here, you were a lawyer. Mm -hmm. Look, being a lawyer, my job was sales. I was going to say, he is a salesman, just not in the physical sense of selling Every things. Every day I was convincing, persuading, I was selling. Well, you make a lot of excellent points, Jimmy. I can see why Henry wanted me to meet you. Thank you very much. You bet. Great. I hate going to job interviews. I hate it. I'm sure nobody really likes it. I don't know. Then you have to wait. Sometimes it feels like forever. I'm sorry. Can I just have another minute? Uh, I'll be real quick. Jimmy, what you're doing? Yeah, look, I know you are going to take some time and consider your options, but maybe we can settle this right now. The time you spend looking for someone is time I could be out there working for you. That's true. I worked in the mailroom. I know how important the copy machine is. Deadlines, last minute changes. And I was in there. I was clearing paper. In the thick of it. I know better than anyone that the copier, it's the beating heart of any business. And that's what we're selling. I don't know. Are they going to take it? Are they going to buy it, Jimmy? Jimmy, welcome to the team. Oh. Really? I just come in and do that little song and dance and I'm in? Yeah, right. That's right. <laughs> Are you out of your mind? Oh, Jimmy, you're messing it up. You don't know me. You guys are like a couple of cats. I come in, wave a shiny object around. You're like, I want that. Mm. Oh, wait, was this his plan? Yeah, I could be a serial killer. I could be a guy who pees in your coffee pot. I could be both. They're like, oh, yeah. So you're yeah. not taking the job? No, I'm not taking the job. What was the point of this? What was the point of this, Jimmy? Huh? <laughs> They're so confused. I am too.
I don't, I don't know. I don't know what he's doing. Hello. Uh, I'm wondering, are you still interviewing for the sales associate position? <laughs> okay. I'm thinking maybe he went in to actually get the job, and then when it looked like they were going to offer it to him, I don't know, he just realized that he didn't want to work there? I don't know. That was confusing. Yeah, That's calling him? I can be that. He let her know. Oh, good. Take a seat. This is Lydia. You steal an employee's patch while through my warehouse, interfere with operations, and strong arm my facility manager. <laughs> to prove a point. I'm on your books as a security consultant. If I show my Duh. face in your warehouse, it makes for a better cover story. Plus, you had a few things that needed correcting, so consider it a bonus. Incorrect. That's not the point. This is meant to be a paper transaction. If I asked you to reconsider. I'd ask you to do the same. <laughs> Two strong personalities. Put them in a room together. What do you get? At the moment, you have Gus Fring's respect. I'd want to keep that if I were you. No, oh, don't worry, he does. Oh my gosh. <laughs> no wonder the doctor looks so freaked out. The cousins. Hello, hi. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt. He's probably like, thank Dr. God more Desai, people are this here. This is Dr. Maureen Bruckner. Dr. Bruckner? Dr. Bruckner's visiting from Johns Hopkins, and we're asking uh, her to take the lead with some of the more severe cases in the ward. Gus? <laughs> we can co manage care if you like. We can. No, no. He's all yours. <laughs> He's like, take it, take it, please. <laughs> take it. Mm, I love it. Are you the family? <laughs> Ustedes son familia? Nacho. Oh. When did they get here? Mm -hmm. That guy doesn't talk much, does he? Les pido que le hablen, I thought. Ayla probably da aquí en cierto nivel. Él puede oírlos. Hmm. Activará su cerebro para recordar y encontrar caminos para They don't talk much, though. You know what I would do? Read him a book. Just... Talking all the time. Nos mantenemos al corriente del conteo. Todo se ve bien. Va a superar esto. Y está más fuerte que nunca. <laughs> Interesting. Oh, getting that trash. Yes. I spoke with your security <laughs> contractor. I explained the situation again, but he's going to keep doing what he's doing. I understand. So I'm just supposed to let him keep stealing my employees' badges. This isn't something I want to spend my time worrying about. Then I suggest you give the man a badge. <laughs> oh my goodness. Is he gonna find out? Call Victor. Have him meet us. He's gonna find out. Or he, yeah, I think he already suspects, but I think he's going to find out. <laughs> Poor Kim. Just a few more. I know Chuck was thorough, but even I didn't think there was gonna be this much paper. <laughs> Am I late? Kim, no, right on time. Uh, we were just finishing up Rebecca's side of things. 
Uh, Howard suggested, and of course I agree, that it would be the right thing for Jimmy to go through whatever survived and take whatever he wants. Jimmy doesn't want any of it. You sure? He doesn't want it. Thank you. Well then, hmm. as far as Jimmy's concerned, all that's left is for him to sign this agreement letter. Let me guess. 4,000? Five. Chuck left Jimmy a personal hmm. letter. His eyes only. Wonder what that's gonna say. What were you thinking when you came to Jimmy on the day of his brother's funeral and laid that shit on him? That Chuck killed himself? Kim, I didn't do it to hurt Jimmy. No, you did it to make yourself right. feel better. Correct. Who cares what it does to Jimmy, right? As long as Howard Hamlin is okay. Kim, I, I don't think that's fair. Fair? Let's talk about oh, fair. Oh, boy. <laughs> Let's let Jimmy dig around the fire damaged wreck where his brother died screaming. I don't think I've seen Kim this mad before. It is just, I mean, oh, what's this too, huh, Howard? What's in this? One last screw you, little brother, from beyond the grave? What can I do to make it better? Nothing. Is she going to read the letter first, maybe? I don't know if it would say anything good. Damn, though. Kim let him have it. Damn. Hey, I hope you're hungry. I bought way too much food. <laughs> uh, yeah, I can always eat. The other is showing Jaws 3 with commercials, so real Sophie's Kim, choice. Kim, give him the letter. I think no matter what's in the letter, good or bad, he needs to read it. Got a couple leads. Actually, I got an offer. That uh, didn't feel quite right. <laughs> it was, uh... I got an offer and then I went off on them. Yeah, how was your day? Uh... I just <laughs> mostly stayed here, trying to get organized. I yelled at Howard. I went off on Howard. <laughs> so Jimmy doesn't know that she went. I just realized that. Mm. She was giving him the look. <laughs> the fish. <laughs> What's he doing? Oh. Dang. Oh, is he going to steal that? That's a lot of money. Hey, it's me. Listen, I got something for you. It's a job. He's going to have Mike steal it. I mean, the dude at the office was like, ah, I've been meaning to clear this crap out. So I don't think he'd really miss it, but damn. Ridiculous. Who's this? Oh, what's them? Okay. We're taking six tonight. What? Six keys is what the boss would want. Um, I don't know if that's a good idea. Guess we will find out. I only see five. It's a one time only. Salamancas get six. We're not leaving without six. Do you want to go? Nacho, what are you doing? Do you really want to do this? Okay. Guess he called their bluff. 
That was a big, a big uh, risk though. What is he thinking? That's how you do it. We had him pissing their pants. Is he gonna get rid of this guy now? Oh no! Oh no! Okay. What are they doing? I know what you've done. Oh no. The Salamancas. They do not. Look at me. From now on, you are mine. Oh, shit. Okay, Gus. Damn. Oh, poor boy to die. That would be horrible. Alrighty, friends, that was the end of that episode. Wow. Wow. That ended, um, that ended, I was not expecting that ending. <laughs> I was not expecting that ending. I was not. Um, so Gus found out. I was pretty sure he was going to find out. He found out, but he didn't kill Nacho. He killed the other dude. I, I didn't know his name. Um, I, I guess he's gonna, what, blackmail Nacho now? Like, Nacho still is working for the Salamancas, but basically Gus has control over him because he knows what he did. I'm guessing that's his plan. So he's not going to take care of Nacho, so to speak. Um, which is good, which is good. I didn't, I didn't want Nacho to be hurt by Gus or, or get killed by Gus. But it's also not good because now someone knows and, and now he's gonna be blackmailed if he doesn't do what Gus wants. And that kind of makes me more worried for Nacho because now that I know that he kind of works for Gus now and he's not um, in in BB, Breaking Bad. <sighs> that makes me worried. That makes me worried for him, for his future. Uh, let's talk about Jimmy and Kim. First of all, holy crap, Kim. Holy crap. I don't think I've ever seen her. I'm trying to think back and I don't think I've ever seen her that angry as she was in this episode. I don't think I have. She was pissed. And you know, I hadn't really thought about it before about what Howard did. I was like, I kind of thought, well, like maybe he could have picked a better time to do it. Like not the day of the funeral, but I still wasn't like, oh, he t only told Jimmy because he felt guilty, like to ease his conscience. But now that I think about it, that's really why he told him. I mean, because what good does that do Jimmy? Think about it. Jimmy could have gone his whole life without knowing that specific reason as to why Chuck did what he did, right? He could have just thought it was an accident. He could have gone his whole life thinking it was an accident. Um, and maybe that would have made him accept Chuck's death better than he is slash kind of isn't doing right now because I do feel like he's in denial or maybe not denial but he doesn't want to feel it you know he doesn't want to feel the pain and like <sighs> I've been there I mean I've, I've lost people I have lost loved ones as I'm sure most of us have um Everybody grieves differently, but 
I do remember, you know, a part of me was like, I don't want to, I don't want to think about it. I don't want to talk about them. I just want to keep living like normal and not feel the pain, you know, not feel the pain for just a little while longer. Because once you start thinking about it and um, coming to terms with the loss, man, it's hard. It, it hurts. It hurts. It is painful. But it's something, it's something that must be done, you know? It's something that everybody is going to have to go through. Unfortunately, it's part of life, dealing with loss and overcoming it and getting through that grief period um and it's painful and i think jimmy's kind of just he's at that stage where he's just not you know he's just cruising along in his life um putting it in the back of his mind not dealing with it so at least that's what i think that's what i think is happening because as much as chuck pissed him off and as much of the, as they disagreed and as much as Chuck hurt Jimmy. And I'm not saying Chuck just hurt Jimmy. Jimmy also hurt Chuck. But as much as Chuck hurt Jimmy, especially that last conversation they had, beneath all that, like, Chuck was still his big brother. And he loved him. So, I don't know. Very interesting. But damn, Kim. Good for, good for her. I mean, she called Howard out. And, you know, I do think that Howard feels bad. He seems to have genuine remorse for what he did. Um, and after Kim called him out, you know, he was on the verge of tears about like, I think he, he still feels guilty and he's like, how can I make it better? He, he can't, you know, it's just what Kim said. He can't make it better. Great episode. Honestly, great episode. Uh, those are my thoughts for this one. I don't think I have any more, but if I do, I'll probably tell you next episode. Um, but yeah, thank you all so much for watching with me. I hope you enjoyed it. What a great episode. I cannot wait for the next one. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe below. Join my community. Let's get to a thousand subscribers, please. I'm going to do a um, movie. Uh, I don't know if you call it a giveaway, but kind of. I'm going to do like a movie contest thingy lottery I guess that would be a good term for it once I get to a thousand subscribers more information to come on that so yeah let's get there let's make it happen I think that's it all right thanks friends oh yeah and if you want to if you want to watch um, the shows and movies with me in full check out my patreon below I would love to have you all right have a great rest of your day my friends I will see you on the next video bye